What's up everyone? This is FSD Beta 12.5.4. I could not be more excited about this drive. We're gonna put this car to the test. So let's just go ahead and make sure autopilot is on. We're gonna do, let's put this in park. We're gonna put on full self driving and say yes. We're gonna scroll up and uh, let's get into it. All right, so, uh, but if you own a Tesla, it's so important that you get out there and you hit, um, you hit the road and you make sure that realistically that, that you are, we're getting more and more miles into, um, really getting more and more miles into the system because, all right, so look here, actually there's two cones here and you can see just handles it super well. No big deal at all. Um, but it's important to get those reps in so that we are feeding the system more and more data. And as you see, uh, we'll see the, the system continue to improve. So, all right, we're gonna be making a left here. It's a four-way stop. No cars, that car had already gone, so we're gonna be making a left. Awesome. But yeah, Robo Taxi Day is upon us, and Tesla is is being consistent with uh, you know delivering on that three month plan that they had, where they laid out everything that they were going to deliver on. So I'm personally like really excited, looking forward to you know what is is possible with FSD. Um, and what they're gonna showcase. Obviously, I believe it's gonna be a new vehicle. Um, and then hopefully they showcase the, the robo-taxis, uh, the autonomy, so, but we don't know. Um, thankfully, I got a ticket, was able to secure that um, through, um, t um, well, can't share that with you, but either way, I was able to secure a ticket and uh, you know, super thankful to be going to the event, to be checking it out. Um, and really showcasing and seeing, you know, what is going to be, um, you know, where is the future headed? And because I, I really believe that FSD is going to change people's lives. It's going to save people's lives. Um, all right. So one thing I wanted to call out there as we were driving, there was literally, you know, a really open road with no markings. So Tesla has been able to see, um, you know, and determine and, and make turns and transitions without any marking. So here, it looks like there's nothing. I'm looking on the left, I'm looking on the right. It is completely clear. One interesting thing is, what if I can do this one? Right, let's see, I'm gonna potentially, let's, let's navigate here. The reason why I wanna navigate there is because I want it to cro cross a double, um, double lane. And, uh, you know, again, there's a lot, a lot happening there. So, all right. So actually shout out to the, there's a Tesla here. There's another Tesla there. All right. So it's supposed to go straight across and we're going to see if it can handle it. So you can see a Tesla out on the left here. And then you can even see another car over there. So interestingly enough, okay, well, it totally missed that. Wow, okay. So we're gonna see how it's gonna adjust. It's gonna go across that. And with that said, what is that gonna make me wanna do? I'm gonna wanna go hit that again because it literally just failed that. The good thing is it was able to navigate through, um, but it wasn't able to completely adjust to that. So. Um, Man, there's a ton of Teslas. There's like three Teslas here. You can see all of them. So we're gonna be making a left here. Um, but yeah, it went out into the middle of the street and unfortunately was not able to, to handle that. And that actually should have been somewhat simple, um, just given there wasn't too many cars there. There was just a couple of cars there that um, had gone by. So now it looks like we're gonna be making a left here. All right, so as soon as, ooh, hello, and <laughs> I literally just hit a curb. So uh, that's always fun. So two fails on this drive. Um, that's kind of a bummer, but 
All right, well, uh, now we're gonna, um, thankfully, <laughs> shout out to Alloy Gator, I got my rim protectors on, it's not a big deal. All right, so let's make a left. So this car's gonna go here. All right, four-way stop. All right, so I'm gonna be making a left there. And so I'm gonna, once it makes the left, I'm gonna immediately navigate to this address because I want it to go directly across um, that pathway and see if it can handle it again. Look, we have a car coming all the way out. It slowed down a little bit, but then um, literally didn't, it wasn't phased. All right, so we're gonna be making a left here. All right, and then I'm gonna immediately navigate to here. So um, let's have it go. It's just gonna keep going. That was a little odd. There was a scenario where it looks like uh, the dad was taking uh, his kid in. So either way, all right, so we're going straight and it's po poking out a little bit. You see these cars turning in right here um, and now it's popping out a little bit, okay? So there's no more cars coming on my left. I see some cars coming on my right and the car straight ahead is making a right from their, their perspective. So let's, you know, let's see how this handles it. Oh, look at that. Perfect. All right, so it handled that like a champ. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna go back over there. So, oh, it's not this place. I'm gonna go, what is it? Let's go here. Let's have it. Let's do this one. I want to test this one out a little bit because the fact that it failed like that, um, it should be hopefully able to do it. Let's let's see if we can it can uh, we can make this happen. This feels not quite as hard or complicated as that Chuck Cook uh, left turn. So shout out to Chuck uh, if you're watching. All right, so why is it slowing down here? <laughs> That was a little bit odd. Shout out to the Mickey Mouse here out on the left. That's hilarious. All right, so it's slowing down. There's no cars coming, so it's gonna make a right. All right. So we're popping our heads out a little bit here. There's nothing over there. There's a car coming here. It's gonna go around. All right, so we're gonna go back across this way. Let's see if it can make it. If it can't, hopefully it'll make it right. Obviously I will disengage. So now uh, we have a car in the middle lane, another car coming. So this will be interesting to see how it handles. Um, there's no cars coming on the left hand side outside of this car here so we'll see how it handles that it is clear wow look at that see the second time is a charm so we're gonna flip back around and um, I'm gonna have it go back to this location because I want to see if it can do it again uh, we might do this two or three times, but yeah, that was a pretty bad failure. I think initially, right? So I think uh, for me Again, it's important to, to put this thing to the test, right? That's the whole point All right Cool, let's engage All right, so hopefully the sun isn't killing too much of uh, this view, okay? 
but that also adds a different dynamic to FSD as well because the the sun is hitting really right on right on these cameras right now all right so it's clear out here on the left it's ribbing coming by all right well cool so yeah that was uh it handled that really well um and we are going to end this and do go back and do that one more time route. We're going to go do that one more time and then we're going to make a, a quick drive over to uh, somewhere else. Alright, so we're making it right here. Let's see if it stops. It's not randomly stopping. So there's a car over here on the left, so it's pulling out. So that's great. So we're going to be making a left here. And for those that may be asking, this is a 2024 Hardware 4 Model X Long Range. All right, so we're going to be, again, let's go across this pillar. Let's see. It's going to come down to, all right, so we have a truck here making a right in here. Car there, cars passing. We also have another Tesla coming up here on the left and there's several cars up here on the right coming. Left seems to be clear and it's going. And I did want to call out that car, car on the right was hauling. So, um, okay, and then what we're gonna do all right i'm gonna have to stop for this real quick and then we'll get back into it okay so we have um truck here we'll be able to make a left hand turn up here So we're going to be making a left. It looks like clear on the left. On the right, you still have some cars. Clear straight ahead. So it should be good to go. All right, let's go. Sometimes I got to do a check and just make sure that Insta360 is still out there. make a left here so it looks like this guy is just pretty much ran a red light um, and Tesla handled that super well we're gonna have to create that one into short but that guy literally ran through a red light making a right-hand turn and even though I had the right away because it was green it yielded and stopped um, or slowed down that is awesome that's what you want to see all right so we're at a four-way stop this person um, was next and then it's me next all right so we're gonna go So yeah, I think, you know, overall as I'm thinking through the drive, you know, it's been doing a, a pretty good job. There have been like those random moments where it just like randomly stopped on that street. 
There's also been another moment where, uh, so this person's making a left and even look at these cars. I mean, these cars are literally just going around and it moved over right here because this car, back car, this Chevy Tahoe on the back right is like kind of getting in my corner and they're speeding up on the side. They shouldn't necessarily be doing that. So, um, all right. So overall, you know, it's, it's doing well, but it's definitely, there's some areas where for improvement, um, you know, cause it stopped that one time in the, in, um, as it was making that turn, as I, um, like in the road, I think it was with that RV. And then there was, you know, when I was going across the double line there, uh, it literally pretty much stopped and then made it right instead of going straight across that double yellow. Uh, or not even the double yellow, but just, you know, it had the right of way to go. So uh, I don't know uh, why it happened, but then what did we do? Two, three, or four times we went through it and hopefully it should be able to handle it. Uh, it'd be interesting to hit that on a busy day, so I may need to come back and hit that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I think those were like the two, the two biggest issues that I personally have seen. Um, But again, these drives are becoming, you know, as they're going, right? Like the thing, the big thing is, is that um, these drives are becoming more and more normal. It has those edge cases, which again, this is why we're out here, you know, as more more miles are being put under this thing, as more videos are being fed into the system, it uh, will get better and better. So. All right, so we're gonna go here. The other big win that it did have was when that person made a right-hand turn when it was red. It was green for me. That means it had to have been red for him. He can't be making a right-hand turn when that's happening. All right, we're going through a green light here. Nothing really around. We're gonna be making a right-hand turn up at this light. We have a biker out here on the right. And a car speeding up a little bit. So. All right, so we're gonna be making a right here. So full complete stop and it's gonna peek out a little bit. No cars up here on the left. This car is not going either. It's gonna go. about to end the drive we're gonna get to this uh, Bass Pro Supercharger So look at that, it literally handled this car coming out, let them come through, so it yielded to the, that is amazing, it's like real life stuff. I probably would have gone, that's just me, I'm probably a little bit more of an aggressive driver. All right, we're going out to the left here, and then we'll circle back into the right. <laughs> So we're gonna be making a ride in here and then we'll be parking ourselves. Right. Let's go over here. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna stop here and kind of just give my overall assessment. So again, 
it did a really good job a couple of big levels of improvement but the big thing was what was it able to do after uh the mistakes with that were happening it was able to accomplish it so that's that's what you want to see and that's what i really like seeing so as this thing is getting fed more and more data and more and more videos we're going to be getting closer to autonomy so 12.5.4 did a great job we are going to continue our drive back now so let's go actually you know what i'm in a bass pro shop parking lot let's just hit it and it's gonna handle it We're gonna be making a left here. It's gonna be pulling out a little bit. I do not see anybody, so it should go. Hopefully the sun beaming down isn't gonna be a killer on the uh, X4 footage with Insta360. Come to a stop here. So we're gonna be making a left here. You know, it's crazy. I can barely see as we make this left-hand turn. And yet, this thing is able to, um, this thing's able to see it. I'm gonna jack it up to 40. It's going a little bit slow. I hit the accelerator a little bit. guy wanted to go but um, decided not to last minute Really nice 
blue Tesla up there. You can see it over there on the right a little bit ago. All right, so I'm gonna be making it right here and actually I see a Lucid. Shout out to the Lucid over there. All right, so we need to get over. Anything on the left. So we're making a left here. Uh, there is one car coming and then this one wants to make, uh, needs to go as well. So it should go. Interesting that, why would this wait? They don't have the right of way. So again, it's not too busy, but imagine you're in LA or somewhere where it's super busy. That would be kind of annoying because that could be another wait of another minute to five minutes, you don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're going through a neighborhood here. Four-way stop and nothing. So we're gonna come up to another four-way stop. Is this this is actually uh, this is a main road here? So we'll so it's gonna be going straight. There's nothing out here on my left. There's something a little bit further down, but I'm interested to see. There's I can't. Okay, so there's cars coming. Oh, oh wow, good for them. Good for <laughs> not for them, but Tesla it went. Um, normally I would have thought it actually would have waited. So it actually calculated enough and just shot out and uh, we made through it so I didn't have to wait longer. We'll complete stop. But yeah, we're about to wrap up this drive. It was like, what, a 10 minute drive. Uh, did super well, no major comments. The fact that it is making better decisions over and over again, as you can clearly see it. Um, it's, be, it's a lot more decisive than it was before. So I'm really glad to be uh, just testing this stuff out. All right, so let's make the left here. All right, well, I'm gonna kill it. Thanks again. Make sure you like and subscribe. We really appreciate all of the support that you're giving us. And uh, we'll see you next time.